Automation is the key to productivity, especially when you've got a 400-person organization, or even a four-person organization if you're working with your brothers. That's why I'm going to show you how to use triggers to automatically run scripts so that he can't possibly forget to run the payroll formula again. All in this episode of App Script in a Snap. So you've written your best app script ever, but the whole point of automating your workday is to remove tasks from your to-do list. Simply switching it to remember to run the script doesn't really help much. Well, triggers are your new best friend because triggers let app script run a function automatically when a certain event like opening a document occurs. When a trigger is triggered, when a trigger is triggered, app script will pass the triggered function an event object that spells out the context of what just happened. For example, if on edit is the trigger for your spreadsheet, then your script will wake up, execute, and be given information about which cell was edited, what the edit was, etc. Now we've got two main types of triggers, simple and installable. Simple triggers are a set of reserved functions built into App Script, like the function on open, which executes when a user opens a Google Doc, Sheet, Slide, or Form. Because simple triggers fire automatically, they aren't asking for the user's authentication. So this means that simple triggers can only be used for bound scripts. Furthermore, it can only run if the user has edit access to the document the script is bound to. So essentially, simple triggers are best suited to scripts that react to users interacting with the document. Now, installable triggers must be activated before use. And as a result, they offer more capabilities than simple triggers. Like simple triggers, installable triggers can run a function automatically when a certain event, such as opening a document, occurs. But they can also call services that require authorization. They offer other types of events, like time-driven or clock triggers. And they can be controlled programmatically. Triggers are pretty great, and they are the key to being able to trust that your automations are running regularly. So be sure to check the documentation to learn everything you've ever wished to know about triggers. <laughs> Subscribe to the G Suite YouTube channel for more great tips, and stay tuned for more AppScript in a snap.